Hey guys, this is Jonah Campbell here, and today I've got something really important to tell everyone. Actually, I have more than one thing that's important to tell y'all. Okay, so guys, before I get to the really big part of this video, Here's something I'd like to explain to all of you. So guys, you remember how, for the longest time, this channel was known as Marcus is Cool 1998, aka Marcus the Coolest Man? Well guys, a lot of you have probably been wondering why I had a different alias for this channel, or this particular channel, that is. So, guys, a lot of you probably don't know about it, but, um, back in the last couple of years, during the remaining glory days of the Beyond community, I'm thinking it was back in 2019, and also the start of 2020 as well, but, um, there was this user named Marcus the Coolest Man. That's what he called himself. And he disappeared from YouTube a couple times before, and, um, I think he briefly came back for a little while, and he was seemingly a really big fan of me in early 2020, and, um, I think eventually in either May or June of 2020, he disappeared from YouTube, supposedly permanently, because he either got terminated or closed his account. Well, I had no idea what had happened to him, but I really missed him because I noticed that he was a really big fan of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, just like me. And so, when he disappeared from YouTube, I had the idea to create this particular channel disguised as him. So everyone could think that Marcus the Coolest Man came back to YouTube. And, um, yeah. So that's basically the whole entire reason why I created this channel. I wanted to bring back Marcus the Coolest Man and make everyone think that he was back on YouTube. And then eventually, in mid-2021... <coughs> sorry. In mid-2021, I decided to rename this channel to Marcus is Cool 1998. And I wanted everyone to think that he was still Marcus the Coolest Man, just with a different username. And, um, and as you all know, my hate base has gotten so out of control once again. Everyone in the Beyond community still thinks I'm a fucking zoo file. And basically for the longest time now, my haters have been nothing but massive dicks to me. And, um, I couldn't help it anymore. And eventually, whenever I would use this channel, and it's like you guys said, I use this particular channel to fanboy myself. And, um, and you were right, guys. I did a terrible job at protecting uh, my true identity because when I started acting the, the same way behind this account, everyone did start to recognize that it was me. And so that's when I eventually had to give in and come clean and reveal my true identity. And, and also, as a lot of you guys probably know, I think you probably know what I'm about to get into now, but um, I'm about to get into the really big part of this video and basically the true topic of this video, what I'm really desperate to talk to you guys about. So, um, before I get into it, I would like to say something. 
So, hmm. so guys, as a lot of you have probably seen, you remember how I closed down my really big channel in January of this year, right? Well, um, yeah, my big channel was closed on January 10th this year, and at the end of that month, I had to go on another hiatus, and I came back on May 10th of 2023, which was, which marked the two-year anniversary of Andrew R. Roscoe terminating my old channel, which lasted from 2012 to 2021. And, and sadly, the majority of people denied my apology, and while I was able to handle it for quite a while, I was only able to handle my apology being denied just a little bit, but not so much to the point where it just got irritating. And I say that because my haters just had to go and force me to handle hate again. I get that they want me to handle hate since I'm an adult, but I just don't get it. Why should I have to handle people being this mean to me on YouTube? Like, nobody should be forced to handle this shit. Like, my haters, think about all those times where you were mean to me before in the past. Like, all those times where, you know, you bullied me, called me rude nicknames. I don't really know about all of that, but, um... You guys know what I mean. But, um... Oh, yeah. When I came back to YouTube, it was on one of my other closed channels... Jonah Campbell Studios, and, um, yeah, I closed it on June 8th of 2023 at, I believe, midnight, and in case a lot of you don't know, that was actually the time when I left the Beyond community. Yes, guys. You heard me correctly. I have now officially left the Beyond community, and I'll explain why. So, on a few of my other accounts, which some of you have probably assumed that I'm also behind, um, I had to delete slash privatize slash unlist a lot of those cringeworthy videos that I made before in the past. Everything that I ever made in my YouTube reputation ever since the Vion ever since the downfall of the Beyond community, which was at believe at which was at, I believe, the start of the, the current decade, which is the twenty twenties. Well, that's the thing. I just don't know how to finish that sentence anymore. But, um, let me try to rephrase it. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, everything I made at the start of this current decade, ever since the beginning of 2020, I've decided to get rid of everything. Everything, every single part of my YouTube reputation where I was in the dreaded and rotten Beyond community, is now gone forever. Yes, guys, you heard me correctly. And I know I've already established it, but I'm no longer part of the Vion community anymore because I've officially had it with their fucking bullshit. Because ever since the beginning of 2021, my haters have made me through live through so much pain, suffering, torture, and other kinds of negativity. And as you know, I can't handle it anymore. And I'm and finally, 2 years later, I'm going to start doing exactly what Sean Sullivan told me approximately 2 years ago. Come September of this year, 
It'll mark two years since he told it to me. And I agree with him. Even though he's not my friend anymore, I don't even care because I'm done with the Beyond community. That terrible, infuriating community has made me live through so much bullshit for the past two years. And I've gotten to the point where I've decided to stop socializing with it entirely. Especially if you look at the bad side of the community. With all this criminal nonsense and pedophiles and zoophiles and all that other crap. As you know, I can't live with it anymore. And I don't want to be reminded of my past in the Beyond community anymore. And I know a lot of my detractors probably aren't going to listen to me, but um, according to Griffin Little, I'm mostly ignoring my haters, like, uh, which is basically what a grown-up would do. But since a lot of my haters aren't ignoring me, then that proves that they're basically man-children and they're immature users who act like you know, kindergartners or an or elementary school-aged children. And my haters are right about me being a man-child, but they have to stop and realize that I'm not the only one who's a man-child. They're also man-children too, or woman-children, since some of my detractors might be females, but um, yeah. So guys, none. I think this is basically what I wanted to tell y'all for this video. I wanted to tell you guys why I created this account and um, that I'm officially no longer part of the Beyond community. I created this channel because I wanted to bring back Marcus the Coolest Man and um, unfortunately I did a very uh, bad job at hiding my true identity, like a lot of my enemies said. And, um... Yeah. And the other part of this video is me saying that I'm no longer part of the Beyond community because it's made me live through so much that I've decided to stop socializing with it entirely. Especially if you look at the bad side of the community. And so... This is basically the one final thing before I close, or stop recording this video. Um, remember when I said, there's, there's one final thing I want to say. I'm not sure if I said that already, but just in case if I didn't, I said it. But anyway, so. Remember when I said that this channel will be closed after Labor Day? I said it because very soon I'm going to rename this channel and change the profile picture, handle, and banner, and description, or about info, all of that, one final time before this channel officially gets shut down, because I want Social Blade to take the time to recognize this channel as what it'll be known as when it gets shut down after Labor Day. And I probably... Y'all probably didn't notice, but this is what I did with Jonah Campbell Studios. I renamed it to, it was a pleasure doing business with the Beyond community. And to that, all I have to say is, amen. And honestly, I think it's about time because as I've said already, my days in the Beyond community are over. It's time for me to say goodbye to that rotten community and uh, move to, to a, a peaceful, a more peaceful, healthier section of the internet where I'm not getting bullied, pestered, bugged, and basically all of that. And yeah. And I believe this is something I meant to say earlier in the video, but I already left the Beyond community back in 2021 when they, my haters were still treating me like a quote-unquote criminal user and all of that. And a lot of people agreed with me, but what I, what I actually realized is that I am... Sorry for the music there, but um, 
what I realized a little while later is that I actually am still part of the Beyond community. Because if I'm still socializing with all of my detractors in that community, and if I'm still making Beyond videos, or grounded videos that is, then... Yeah, I should have left the Vion community ages ago, before it turned into this godforsaken hellhole. And I know I've said this a bunch of times before, but... The Vion community has really changed my life. And the reason, like, y'all remember when I came back to YouTube in September of 2022, right? on my 18th birthday. A lot of people thought I went on a hiatus so I could improve my behavior due to the fact that a lot of people thought I was the one that needed to change. But no, I had to get away from YouTube because I couldn't stand my haters' as bullshit anymore. And, um... Yeah, I, when I came back to YouTube in September of 22, I was still angry about all the crap my haters made me live through throughout the majority of 2021. And that's why I was still raging at my haters when I came back to YouTube. Because, like I said, the Vion community has really changed my life. And what I've said to everyone who hasn't been in the Vion community before, trust me, um, Nobody should be in the Vion community at all, because it used to be happy and peaceful, but now it's unfair, and it, everyone in that community is just so unfair to people like me. And, um... Yeah. I... I guess I can't finish that sentence anymore, but, um... Once you see how shit the Beyond community is, it'll fuck you up for life. I think that's what I've been trying to make clear. And I'm right about the Beyond community fucking me up for life because ever since my hate base first started back in January of 21, I've been, I've always been angry about all the crap my haters made me live through ever since then. And, and I'm right. The Vion community can fuck you up for life. And that's why I was still raging at my haters when I came back to YouTube on my 18th birthday. Because, um, my haters put me through so much crap in 21, and I've been angry about it ever since. And I know I've already said this before in the past, but, um, due to all the karma my haters have made me live and suffer through, I don't think I'll ever be happy ever again. My haters said and did a lot of hurtful and offensive things to me that I will never forget. And no matter what happens, no matter how much time goes on in the past, this isn't something where someone would just feel heartbroken for a little while and eventually they would move on. This feels like something a family me huh, like a person would live through if maybe their family members were killed. Like, think about it. If a me think of a random person on Earth, right, and their family gets murdered, or maybe just one family member of theirs gets murdered, do you think they would be heartbroken for a little while and then move on to s on from it eventually, or would they be heartbroken for the rest of their lives? they would be heartbroken for the rest of their lives. And that's how I feel about the Vion community. And um, it's true. Once you see how shit this community is, it'll fuck you up for life. And the Vion community has made me live and suffer through so much pain and torture for the past two years that I can't handle it anymore. And not only have I decided to stop socializing with it entirely, but Due to all the hurtful and offensive things my haters have said to me ever since the beginning of 2021, I feel like I'm going to be heartbroken about it. I feel like I'm going to feel heartbroken uh, about it for the rest of my life because 
it basically feels like a family member of mine was murdered because like I already, with the example I already gave out, if someone's family member gets murdered, that person would feel heartbroken for the rest of their lives. And basically what I'm trying to say for this example is that my haters in the Vion community have murdered me inside. They murdered me mentally and emotionally. And, and even though I've already said it a, a bunch of times already, my haters have, have said and they've said and done so much hurtful and offensive things to me for the past two years. And those, all those hurtful and offensive things they said and did to me ever since the beginning of 2021, I will never forget them. After all the shit my haters have done to me, I'm going to be heartbroken about it for the rest of my life. My haters, if you guys are watching this, I'm sorry if I hurt you guys, okay? But I want you to understand, you hurt me. And because of your hateful actions and words towards me, all the hurtful shit you guys have said and done to me, my life will never be the same because of you monsters. You bitches have made my life a living hell for far too long. And, yeah. And, um, well. Well, that's the thing. I just don't know how to finish that sentence anymore. So, guys. Um. This channel will be closed after Labor Day with a final alias, as well as a profile picture, banner, and about info, and about the Vion community. Come September 5th, which is on a Tuesday, and the day after Labor Day of 2023, come that day, my days in the Vion community are over. I'm leaving the Vion community and I'm never coming back. I'm sorry, guys. This is the way it has to be. And, um... Do I have any last words to say before this channel will be closed? Yes, I do. It was a pleasure doing business with the Vion community. will eventually be healed one day and all of my memories in the Vion community will be erased. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you heal me mentally and emotionally. I pray that you give me a more peaceful, healthier life on the internet away from the dreaded Vion community. I pray that you'll make my life better emotionally I hope you'll wipe away all this emotional pain from my life, and I hope my life will eventually get better Af right a shortly after I leave this dreaded community. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And one final thing before I close. To everyone who was a fan of me, during my days in the Beyond community. You can still be friends with me if you want to in a whole different community, but this is basically to everyone who's in the Beyond community and a fan of mine and wants to stay in the community. I just want to thank you all for your love and support over the years. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure doing business with the Vion community. Onward and upward, everyone.